can you tell what we're doing today? <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is one of the videos that I'll be releasing in the run-up to Christmas where I just want to do something a little bit different. This was actually the first thing that I thought of that I wanted to do and I'm, I'm really excited for it. So you should be able to see, I've tried to set it up as best I can, um, you should be able to see down the bottom I have pictures of every pairing from every BL I've watched so far. There's 18 different BLs uh, which made for quite a few <laughs> different pairings and I thought I would rate them and uh, and see what my favourites are so that's what we're gonna do. Oh th this is a disclaimer this has nothing to do with the actors or whatsoever and it doesn't necessarily reflect on anything that was said during my reviews or anything like that. Obviously for some of these older series uh, my opinion might have changed. Really I'm just having a bit of fun so don't take it too seriously. <laughs> Please don't hate me if your favourites are low down in the list. I'm just trying to have a bit of fun with it okay? So I think the best thing to do is to start with a couple that I know where they're going to go because that will help get me started, right? So <laughs> this is Sean and White from Not Me, straight up there in S tier. There's no question in my mind when I was finding the picture for them, I literally looked at them and I was just like, oh my babies, oh my comfort couple. Like I couldn't even get the picture without swooning. They're obviously going to be S tier. I love them so much. So while we're doing Not Me, where are you lady? I know you're here somewhere. It was a really bad picture because <laughs> I couldn't find a picture to save my life. There they are, Eugene and Graham. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere around here, no? Eugene and Graham, I had nothing against them. The, the trouble was I shipped them with different people. I wanted Graham to be with Black. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a Todd Black shipper, I'm not. So I wasn't too keen on this couple, but I didn't hate them. They're, they're very sweet together. E. <laughs> they're not my faves. And there was one other couple in Not Me. Uh, Dan York. This is also difficult, no? Because I only like one half of the pairing. Mm, I wanted them to be together, but only to make York happy. But I liked him more than Eugene and Graham. I think we're going to go with... I really didn't like Dan by the end of the series. Uh, I reserve the right to move them later if I change my mind as I'm adding more to them. Um, <laughs> it's really difficult to know how I feel about them. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there. I only wanted them to be together to make York happy. I feel, I feel like I can just go in order now, right? So my first one was Cutie Pie. Lian and Kua. <laughs> I always narrow it down to like two tiers and then like which one, which one, which one. I loved them, but no, I'm not thinking about the series. I'm thinking about the pairing and I loved them. They're A. Diao and Yi, A, <laughs> for sure. Where's Nua and Sin? I know I've got Nua and Sin here somewhere. There they are, cutie pies. I didn't like them as much as the other two pairings because, and the only reason was that they didn't get enough screen time. And I've actually been campaigning for them to get more screen time in the Cutie Pie special episode. I think the only letdown with Nura and Sin was their lack of screen time. It just felt very flat and boring to me. There, there was, it was just a steady progression into romance. There was nothing really going on. So I would say C for now. They weren't my faves. I would actually say they're kind of tied now, but for different reasons. Let's move him up for now. Bad Buddy had two pairings. We had Pat and Pran. I liked them a lot. I was rooting for them. I definitely liked them more than those guys. I'm going to go with a, a solid B for now. B for Bad Buddy. <laughs> and we had Ink and Pa too. There they are. They were sweet, but I wasn't that invested. I feel like if I had to pick between them and the people in the C tier at the moment, the C tier would still win. Hmm. <laughs> Tale of a Thousand Stars. Where are my babies? There they are. <laughs> Poopa and Tien. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and whack them up here. We don't really need an explanation, do we? I feel like <laughs> that's self-explanatory. That the oh, this scene, by the way, I bawled my eyes out now. 
I'll never, I'm never ever watch my reactions because I get so embarrassed. <laughs> but I, I love them so much. They're definitely S tier for sure. I cannot wait for Our Sky 2 so that I can see them again. So next we have Even Sun, which had two pairings technically. We did have Nemo and JJ as well, but I didn't include them because I don't really consider them a pairing in a BL sense. So I went with Arted and Sun. I should be able to find it easily. He's got bright orange hair, for goodness sake. There he is. <laughs> I liked him a lot. I'm sorry, I really did. I know the series was letting us down a bit, but we ain't talking about the series. We're talking about the pairing, and the pairing were cute as fuck. And I'll, I'll say B. I'll say B. They, they weren't, you know, I wasn't as invested as, like, the cutie pie main couples. Um, but they, they were very sweet and adorable. I loved them a lot. I would, I would say they're Pat Pran level, for sure, for me. And we had Shing and Mancorn. They're, they're, they're going with Ink and Pa for the exact same reason. They they were fine, they really were. I just wasn't that invested. <laughs> if anything, they should have given us a pairing between... Oh, what were their names? Mech and... I want to say Ty? <laughs> the guy who plays Bumblebee in Between Us. Uh, the, the Him and Mech in Even Sun, the two kind of colleagues. I, I feel like I would have been more invested in their relationship. I don't know. They were, they were fine. I just wasn't crazy about it. Okay. <laughs> Until we meet again was the next one I watched. Where is Palm and P. Dean? <laughs> there they are. We've got Palm and Dean. And bear in mind as well, uh, some of these have been across multiple series, right? So Palm and Dean, I know them from Until We Meet Again, but I also know them from Between Us. They they get extra content in Between Us. Uh, and I'm considering both. Both series. Um, for the pairing as a whole, you got to consider all the content you get for them. They were my first good boy pairing. <laughs> and I did think they were sweet, but Palm cried a lot. I love them. They're going in A, I think. Yeah, they're going in A for sure. We also had... Who's next? Corn and In. You have no idea how difficult it was to get a picture of these two. I wanted one picture where they were both smiling. I don't think they were both smiling <laughs> at any point in the show because I could not find one. Uh, so I just had to go for the red thread scene. Um... Not my favourite person for Earth to be with, I'm not gonna lie. They did do a good job. And the actual- if we consider the actual story of the couple, like, that's a romance that you cannot deny, no? It, it crosses lifetimes. But it was so sad. <laughs> it was so, so sad. I'm gonna put them in C, because I liked them, but... I didn't love them together. Win team. <laughs> uh, I went with a Between Us picture because most of the win team content is now from Between Us. No, I feel like we've we've now gotten more content in Between Us than we had of them in Until We Meet Again. Um, no question in my mind. Between Us hasn't even finished. It doesn't matter if it ended right now with six episodes complete. If they cancelled it and we never got an ending for them, they would still be S tier based on the content we've had for them. They're beautiful. I love them. One true pairing. If there was an S plus, they would be up there. They would be the <laughs> they would be the only ones up there. Maybe Sean and White. And you know what? That's why there's no S plus tier. <laughs> They're beautiful. Love them. And for Until We Meet Again, we also had Prook and Manel. I love these two. They're so cute together, no? So wholesome. And again, we've gotten more content for them in between us um, to see just how wholesome they are. I'm going to give them a solid... I like them more than Corn and In. They've got to go and be. I liked them a lot. S, A, B and C all have one couple from Until We Meet Again, one on top of the other in a line. Lovely writer. Where you at, fan? Uh, we had Sib or Nubsib and Jean. Oh man, I get PTSD thinking about this series. It stressed me out. Sib was very fucking cute. He was very sweet. 
but he also lied a lot. <laughs> and then Jean made some frustrating decisions. It's going to be in the lower half. It, it's got to be. I'm not crazy about them. I'm not going to lie. When I think of these guys, I just think about all the stress more than anything else. The cute moments haven't stuck with me. They get a D. I like. I would say I like them as much as these guys. Uh, we also had Tum and Tiffy. They were the side couple. They were cute. They can go in E with Graham and Eugene. Completely neutral, honestly. <laughs> Love by chance. Oh man, this show gave me the giggles, no? A and Pete. And bear in mind, I know there is a sequel. I just haven't seen it. Um... So all of my decisions about these pairings are going to be off of season one only. But if I take away the kind of behind the scenes and the industry and the actors themselves and I just think about the characters as a pairing, I fucking loved them. Is, would I say A? Should I, That was my gut instinct to throw it in A. I, I would say A. I loved them. I really did. Pete was an absolute sweetheart. He needed protecting at all costs. And A was the protector. They were so lovely together. I loved them a lot. Oh, the other pairings, though, are going to be rough, no? Tin Can. I was rooting for you guys by the end. You, you, this pairing <laughs> confused the fuck out of me. I was trying to work out who the fourth pairing was for so long, and I couldn't believe it was them. This is a really cute picture, though. I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't like them that much. I'm, I'm literally using the other pairings, like I'm comparing them to like. I think that's the easiest way to do it. I would say I like them this much. They're very cute, no? Prince of Ice, Frosty Boy, really grew on me. Tom and Ta, they really didn't get much screen time to make an impression. That's a con. They're stepbrothers, that's a con. The pros, and I'm not allowed to say Ku Heart because the actors aren't allowed to make uh, <laughs> any kind of impact. The, the pros would then just be that they were kind of sweet together and very caring. I thought it was kind of sweet. Not that sweet. Not that sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would, I would say that, yeah. And then lastly, for Love by Chance, we have Kla and Techno. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I never got on board. Not once did I get on board. Car was creepy the entire time, doing manipulative shit. And then everything that happened between them. Mm -mm, not okay with it. I I could not get on board. And I know there seems to be. I don't know what happens in season two, but people seem to ship these two after season two. Of Love by Chance. So I don't know what sorcery they work in season two, but in season one, I consider this non con stuff. It's completely unacceptable, and I can't think of anything they could do in season two to make me get on board after what Kla did. I know. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you're the first F. I don't like you guys. I didn't get on board. Not Me was next. We've done Not Me though. I started with that. And then it was Kin Porsche. God help me. This is where the dislikes are gonna, <laughs> are gonna hit the video. Kin and Porsche were not my favourite. But to be fair, no one in Kin Porsche was really my favourite. I thought Porsche as a character was funny and cute. But their, their relationship was very troubling to me at certain places. But then they did get to a very healthy place. And then they got to an unhealthy place again. And then they got back to a healthy place again. You guys really were yo-yoing for me. I'm not gonna lie. I would say I liked you more than Siv and Jean. Rancorn and Ashin. I would say I liked you. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really stuck. I'm not gonna lie. It would feel weird putting them on the same level as Pat and Pran and Arted and Sun. So I guess it's got to be another C. I feel like Kin and Porsche are above all of these guys for me, but they're below these guys for sure. 
But then I feel like I liked Nua and Sin. And Dan and Yok. And Corn and In. And Tin and Cat. I liked all of these people more than Kin and Porsche. There needs to be another tier between C and D. <laughs> it, it needs to go right here. I definitely like them more than these guys. You know what? I'm feeling generous today. You can sit in the seat here. Vegas Pete. <laughs> my gut instinct uh, is to put it in F. And my thoughts when I was getting the screenshot was like, yeah, this is definitely going to go in F. I, I became okay with that. I didn't get on board... But I became okay with their relationship, but it wasn't until, like, the very end of the very last episode, like, the hospital scene. And I needed more moments like that, really. They definitely had chemistry in their NC scenes and everything, but my gut instinct is to put them with Clara and Techno. <laughs> I'm just as conflicted about them now as I was back then. Because I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, they did want to be together. Like, Vegas did make Pete happy in the end. Okay. They're going in E because... <laughs> I, keep, I keep wanting to, like... They're going in E because they weren't my ship at all. Um, I was not on board with them for the entire series really um and i really only saw the kind of dynamic that i wanted between them to get on board with them at the very last scene of the last episode so at least until season two comes out and i would get more information on them and stuff like that i feel like they can't be that high up but the only reason they're not going in f is because they made each other happy so it's not to me, it's dodgy. <laughs> to me, there's red flags everywhere. But as long as they're happy, who am I to complain? Whereas with Clara and Techno, I think that was a very different situation. Something, well, I was about to say something very wrong happened between them, and there's no denying that, but I feel like the same could be said of these guys. But they weren't in a relationship when all of that stuff happened. Well, they weren't either. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so convicted. <laughs> I feel like a hypocrite putting them higher up than Clara and Techno. Is it really just the chemistry that's going to save them? I think so, yeah. They had chemistry and they're happy together, whereas I feel like Techno... In season 1 at least, I don't know what happens in season 2, but in season 1 I... I don't think he was very happy at all with what happened and he was just kind of in shock. And I know all the Vegas Pete fans are going to be coming at me saying it's a mafia world, of course it's dodgy, it's not going to be rainbows and sunshine and happy romance. But bear in mind, Kim Porsche made it all the way up here and they had dodgy shit going on too in their little mafia world. So you can't just write off certain behaviours as being like that's the world they're living in. They're living in the same world, they also had dodgy shit but I was more on board their relationship. So there's obviously other stuff going on that this just didn't sit right with me, right? So I, I don't know, I just feel like... No, not, I'm not crazy about them at the moment. I loved that hospital scene at the very end. I just needed more of those moments. Kim Che. I loved Kim. And at the beginning, I loved Che. I was really on board this pairing, though I was... <laughs> I still remember the credits rolling for the last episode and being fucking furious, no? So I was way more on board with these guys than I was the other two pairings. But I don't feel like I like them as much as all of these guys, so where does that leave me? That's exactly the same thing that Kim Porsche did. Maybe I just liked them the same as Kim and Porsche? That kind of makes sense, right? I really liked Porsche. Kin was okay. I really liked Kim. Che was okay. So I guess they're kind of even in ranking. We're getting a lot of C's. I don't know how I feel about it. 
I guess that uh, this is like the middle ground, right? Neutral, so like, the average. So I guess that kind of makes sense. That's Ken Porsche. That was a difficult one. I really thought I was going to put Vegas P and F, but um, I think. Yeah, I, th I think I liked them around about this kind of much. Yeah. As long as I don't think too much about it. <laughs> it's one of those pairings, right? You like them as long as you don't think too much about it. As soon as you start thinking about it, you're like, ooh. <laughs> uh, I needed some fluff after Ken Porsche, so I watched My Secret Love. And we had Mech and Kim. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember too much about how I felt about these guys. They were very cute, I definitely got on board. But the time jump really ruined it for me, I'm not gonna lie. Did it ruin the pairing for me? Mm. I would say I'm kind of in the Sib and Jean boat with them. As as a main pairing and stuff. I, I remember spending a lot of my secret love more interested in the side couples. And they were great, but I wasn't crazy invested in them. And I feel like if I compare them to like a Shing and Mancorn, Sib and Jean, I feel like it's around about that level of interest for me. When I think about them, I don't really think about too much other than all the shit that happened at the end. I don't really remember too many of their cute moments, so that would really kind of put them level with that. We did have some cute fucking side couples though, no? My goodness. We have Park and Lee, our domestic couple. I liked them a lot. I would say I liked them about this much. Yeah, I'm 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 feeling the sea train right now. Bomb and bear, my cutie pies. I loved them. No, it was so wholesome. I think they have to be an A. I shipped them from the moment I saw them, <laughs> and I I loved them. They were my drama-free couple for most of the show, and then when they had drama, it was so cute. No, how they resolved it. They were so sweet. This scene too was beautiful. I've rewatched it so many times. These guys were my favourite couple in My Secret Love, I think. They were just so wholesome. They were Pete and A levels of wholesome. Dean and Palm levels of wholesome. Yi and DL levels of wholesome. They, they have to be on the A rank for sure. And then finally we had Tim and Mai. <laughs> I loved my so much. What a cutie pie. So devoted. Tim, on the other hand, pissed me off a little bit in places. <laughs> but then when he got his act together uh, and came to that party, I'm just throwing it out there. I kind of loved him again. I didn't love him as much as Park and Lee, though. I feel like I would say I loved him as much as Mech and Kim, so that's a D rank. I'm sorry, my your sweetheart, but the the pairing it took it took a long time to get going. Though I can see we're coming up to some that are gonna piss people off. <laughs> it's great because I feel like I'm having fun doing this, and it's really interesting for me. But for you guys, it's just gonna be pissing people off. No, like how could you put them further down than these guys? <laughs> uh, vice versa. Poon and Talay, my babies. I know I say that with every couple I'm dragging up here. Aww, I love them. There's not really much question. I love them. And of course, you thought I was going to do vice versa pairings and leave out these cutie pies. I don't care what you say, they were a pairing and I'm going with it. Um, Ooh and Fuse. Didn't get very much screen time, but the screen time they got was fucking adorable. I liked them more than every couple in the C rank. It's gotta be a B. I loved them. <laughs> Here we go. Together. And bear in mind, I have still together as well. These pairings are from together and still together. Except boss and pair. I think they're only still together. If we were going just on together, it would be that. 100%. I really had trouble getting on board with this ship, no? I didn't like Tyne at all. He was selfish, he was childish, 
like i remember him like throwing down sheets and refusing to help make the bed because uh he wasn't gonna get a song played for him or something that sarawat had no control over stuff like that really pissed me off i hated tyne <laughs> as a character so if it was just together it would be f tier if it was just still together it would probably be d tier um because he was likable they were cute they still had their issues here and there, but they were cute and I did like Sarawak and we just needed time to be more likeable and he was more likeable. So for that reason, I feel like e tier is the most acceptable place to put it. I re My intrusive thoughts were winning. I really wanted to just drag it to F tier and move on. And if we were just going by together, I would have done and it would have been great until all the angry people came. <laughs> um... But because I'm considering still together as well, I'm considering all the content that we have for them that I've seen. Um, I I would say that I actually didn't mind them in still together. So that I think that's a good middle ground. Man and type though, I loved them in season one. I loved them in season two. At a certain point, they were the saving grace of the show for me. I would say I liked them as much as like Yok and Dan and Corn and In though. Which is still a whole bunch. Bear in mind, C is like, I like all of these couples. I feel like the line is somewhere around here, like D and E. Like, I love all of these people. I like all of these people. I don't mind these people. And then once we get to here, I'm like, oh, I could do without them. And then, no thank you, never again. So I feel like man and type would be in the I like them row. Right. Who are those two? <laughs> Doesn't help, does it? Dim and green. Um, I couldn't find a picture and I didn't want to... <laughs> I did not want to go back into Still Together or Together just to get a picture of them, so I just grabbed one of the actors. This is Dim and Green from Together and Still Together. No. I just didn't like them. I definitely... I even liked them less than them. I liked them less than them. I definitely liked them less than them. They were just annoying in Still Together and the cause of all the conflict. Mill and Pukai. I loved them. No. I loved them. I mean, okay. This is another one though, right? If it was together, they would be like here. And if it was just Still Together, it would be like here. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I liked them as much as Man and Type, honestly. And then Boss and Pear and Still Together, they were cute, they were funny, but I really didn't care about them at all. I had no interest in them, so again, I'm sorry. I could have done without them. You don't just have to be, like, really problematic to be FT. You just have to be completely non-interesting to me whatsoever. The Eclipse. Ak and Ayan. Khan and Tua. <laughs> what, do you really need me to explain it? Come on. I know the series didn't get shiny lines. It doesn't matter. Okay? I loved them. They were perfect. Even if we put aside the fact that I love the actors and whenever I see clips of First and Kao Tung, like smiling together, I smile as well. Even if we put all that aside because it's just about the pairing and the characters, the pairing was perfect. They were so perfect for each other. You don't need me to explain why they made it up there. Come on. They're beautiful. I love them. I miss them. I want to rewatch the eclipse. Khan and Tua. I want you to know that if this was just a picture of Khan, it would be up there without a hesitation in my mind, not a shred of doubt, that it would be S tier. Khan is one of my top five favourite characters of all time from any BL. I love him. I cried twice, I believe, literally just because I was proud of him. Khan is my baby. <laughs> one of. <laughs> I love him. Tua, I liked. Until episode 11. I mean, it's the same as Dan and not me. It was it, literally the same situation. I liked Dan and Tua for most of the series. And then at the end of the series, 
<laughs> their behaviour made me really dislike them and the only reason I wanted the pairings to be together was to make the marshmallow happy, <laughs> to make York happy and to make Can happy. So I feel like this has to go with Dan and York in the sea. I liked them, I wanted them to be together, but only to make Khan happy. Whatever my boy wants, he gets. <laughs> there wasn't another pairing in the Eclipse, was there? I'm not ranking Chadok and Dika. <laughs> don't ask me to. Again, I don't really have enough information to, to, to rank them. But was there anyone else? I think as far as the first season goes, at least. <laughs> Uh, they were the only Eclipse pairings. Love in the Air? Paiyu and Rain? Before I rank this couple, I would like to reiterate that I am not thinking about the actors or the industry or anything like that. I'm literally just thinking about the characters, Paiyu and Rain. That is my disclaimer. I liked them. Ayu was very hot. Rain was very cute. I didn't have as much trouble with the dubcon aspects and towards the beginning of the show as other people did. To me, it was very obvious, uh, like with the bathroom scene and stuff, that he was enjoying it. So, from my perspective, I didn't really have as much of an issue with it as other people did. And they did have some really amazing NC scenes. Their chemistry was off the charts. I liked them more than most of the people in C. So I'll put them in B. B rank for Paiyu Rain. And then we have Propai and Sky straight up there. I liked them more than all of these guys. But definitely not as much as these guys. So I, I think that's fair to put them in A rank. I liked their relationship. I loved Sky, obviously. That makes a huge difference. But I liked Propai a lot as well, and I think that they're really good together. Um, so I think A rank is quite nice. We had uh, a couple of different pairings for He's Coming to Me. <laughs> we had Tun and Med. I loved them. They were so wholesome. My goodness. Oh man, this one's rough, I'm not gonna lie. B rank. Not because they don't deserve A rank or anything, but just because, like, if I had to say I liked them more than Pat and Pran, Sun and Arted, Manau and Prook, I don't know if I could say that. Oh, it's interesting. Both of Om's pairings made the same rank. I liked him equally with both people. I really did. I, I really, really did. Ooh, interesting. Um, and then we had Prince and Pryfer. I was rooting for these guys now for such a long time. Pryfa was really sweet. Prince was... Oh man, I loved Prince so much. I was rooting for these guys. I was invested. I like them more than everyone on the D-Row, I would say. Right here. And that might seem odd because I know at certain points I was more invested in Prince and Pry than I was with the main couple. But... I don't know if I would say that I like them more than these guys. Yeah, I definitely don't like them more than Mill and Pukong. Mill and Pukong are bay, man and type. So I think, again, C average. Uh, that I think that's good. Uh, I only included one couple from Ghost Toast to Ghost House because uh, although it's implied that there are two other pairings, we really don't get enough information, uh, for, for me at least, we don't get enough information uh, for me to be that invested so that I know that by default they would end up down here just because there's not enough information and I don't think that's a fair reason to rank them so low. So at that point it's like I might as well just not rank them. But we did have Plume and Kevin and I loved them so much. Again, we're putting aside the difficulties I had with the end of the series uh, and the choices that were made then. I loved them. I loved them. They had the skinship going. They were so wholesome and cute. I feel like everyone above the B line is wholesome, no? <laughs> Comfort couple. 
comfort couple, comfort couple, comfort couple, wholesome, 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 wholesome. yeah. S tier is my comfort couples, A tier are just wholesome and cute. B made me smile. They were very sweet. I feel like I'm getting it pretty spot on at the moment. Um, the reason I waited so long to do this video was because I wanted to include my only 12% and that means I had to wait until I finished my only 12% and I finished it yesterday. My baby's cake and ew go straight up here, no question. I loved them. I loved them. If you want to know why, go and watch that series. They're so fucking cute. They're so sweet. They're so wholesome. They're so beautiful. They deserve all the happiness. There's no question in my mind. I love them so much. And we also had Peak and Hom. <laughs> oh man. Uh, if we're going by the first nine episodes of the show, they would be F tier. If we're going for the last five episodes of the show, I would say probably E tier. I wasn't, I just wasn't that invested in them. They were sweet. I just didn't really care. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say F tier. That I just they weren't appropriate for half the show and then when they were appropriate i just didn't care i just never got on board it's another case of i never got on board the ship uh and the last two couples <laughs> i've not finished between us yet but i won't be finishing it until 2023 and i feel like i have enough information to judge what i'm feeling about these couples so bear in mind these two couples are after episode six of between us we've had six episodes um and we've got episode seven coming in four days time um so where i'm placing them now is after six episodes of content from them prince and b so cute and wholesome though i like them as much as manau and prook i'm gonna throw them up there in the B tier. B for Bumblebee. Come on now. <laughs> and one and Tall. I love them too. They're representing the gamers. Tall is a sweetheart. Very wholesome though. Oh, it's rough because I feel like I like them more than B and Prince, but I don't like them enough for them to be A tier yet. Why do I get the feeling by the end of the show they'll, they're going to be A tier? I feel it in my bones. I really like one and Tall. But now they're going to go B tier. I feel like both side couples, these are both the new side couples. Obviously, we've already done Manau and Prook and Palm and Dean with Until We Meet Again. But these are the two new side couples in between us. And I feel like at the moment they're both even on how happy they make me, which is very fucking happy. <laughs> um, I, I think that might change by the end of the show. And I feel like one and tall are going to be moving up in the world. But for now... I'm 100% sure with my S tier, these five pairings are my five favourite pairings that I've seen out of all the BLs I've watched to date, out of all 18 of them, technically 19 if we're counting between us. Um, these five, they're next level no? nothing beats them. We've got Sean and White from Not Me, Tien and Poopa from Thousand Stars, Win and Team from uh, Until We Meet Again and Between Us, Ak and Ayan from The Eclipse, and Cake and Siu from My Only 12%. I'm happy with all of these. We've got Lien and Kua and Yi and Diao, both from the Cutie Pie series. We have Palm and P. Dean. <laughs> Palm and Dean from Until We Meet Again and Between Us. We've got A and Pete from Love by Chance. We've got Bomb and Bear from My Secret Love. Puan and Talay from Vice Versa. Sky and Propai from Love in the Air. And Plume and Kevin from Ghost Host Ghost House. B tier, we've got Pat and Pran from Bad Buddy. Sun and Arted from Even Sun. Prook and Manau from Until We Meet Again and Between Us. U and Fuse from Vice Versa. Paiyu and Rain from Love in the Air. He's coming to me. We had Med and Tun. We, between us, we've got Bumblebee and Prince and One and Tall. I hesitated a couple of times there with Manau and Prook and Paiyu and Rain. No, I think they're all good. They're all in there for different reasons. I think that's what's throwing me. Um, For, for this row, I think that's fine. I don't want to change anything. 
Nua and Sin from Cutie Pie, Dan and York from Not Me, Corn and In from Until We Meet Again, Tin and Can from Love by Chance, Kin and Porsche from Kin Porsche, Kim Che from Kin Porsche, Park Lee from My Secret Love, Man Type and Mil Pukong are both from Together and Still Together, uh, Khan Tua is from The Eclipse, and Prince and Pryther is from He's Coming to Me. Did I really like? Kimchi, Tin Can, and Prince Pryfa, as much as I liked Kantua, Mil Pukong, Horn In. <laughs> I'm broken. I just stared at it for ages. My instinct was I wanted to move Kimchi down. I do. I feel like Kimchi is on this level, no? But that would mean I liked Kin Porsche the. Kin Porsche would have been my favourite pairing out of the three pairings. That's not what I said when I watched it. I was all about Kim Che. I'm going to leave it for now and I'm just going to tell you guys to take this with a pinch of salt because if I actually had to set this in stone for all time, I, would, I don't know if I would be that sure on it. But because I'm just doing it for fun, I'm just going to leave it. Um, I don't know. I'm a bit conflicted about some of these. Uh, D tier, which was I really... I mean, they were okay, right? Um, we had Ink and Pa from Bad Buddy. We had Ashing and Mancorn from Even Sun. Sib and Jean from Lovely Writer. Mech and Kim from My Secret Love. And Tim and Mai from My Secret Love. I feel like I feel the same kind of way about all of these guys. I could take them or leave them. Uh, e tier uh, is probably also I could take them or leave them, but. Really, I could leave them. <laughs> we got Graham and Eugene from Not Me. We have Tum and Tiffy from Lovely Writer. Tum and Ta from Love by Chance. Vegas Pete from Kin Porsche. And Sarawat and Tyne from Together and Still Together. Wasn't crazy about these guys because I shipped Graham with someone else. Wasn't crazy about the... I mean, they were okay, but I wasn't that invested. These guys wasn't that invested. Or... They were a bit problematic, right? Um, th these guys were problematic for me. These guys I struggled with. I think that's fair. I would say I feel the same about all of them. And F tier was really wasn't on board the relationship that much or um, just not interested at all. Could forget about them and be absolutely fine. And a year from now, I might have forgotten about them. We've got Kla and Techno from Love by Chance. We've got Dim and Green and Boss and Pear from Together and Still Together. And Peak and Hom from My Only 12%. I think it's really interesting that from My Only 12%, there were two couples. And one couple made S tier and the other couple made F tier. That's the only series that's done that where it's been so like one end of the scale to the other. So there we have it. I'm happy with that. I Especially the top two rows, I'm 100% certain that's how I feel. And most of B row as well, I'm, I'm fairly certain with as well. Um, I like it a whole bunch. <laughs> These are all the pairings I've seen so far. Looking at it, it looks like quite a lot, but it doesn't feel like a lot, you know? I don't know. My top five pairings really interesting to see that one of them is from like the third BL I ever watched and then one of them is from the most recent one I've ever watched and these are all from Shiny Lines shows except Akayan where the series was a three star but the couple was a Shiny Lines <laughs> S is for Shiny Lines <laughs> I hope you liked it I hope you don't hate me. <laughs> Let me know what you agree and disagree with. I have a feeling I know what people are going to disagree with. A couple of these lower down ones, uh, like Vegas Pete, uh, Sarawat and Tyne, I know they're really popular. Sib and Jean are really popular. So I know that there's probably a lot of disagreements on that front. Um, and there's a couple of these up here that you guys might think is a little bit unnecessary. Um... But, you know, I'm just going by my own opinion, and some of these, I they just have a special place in my heart, you know? I don't know. So let me know what you think. 
Wh which ones do you agree with? That's what I'm most interested in. Wh which ones are you like, yes, this is the same for me? Because I feel like some of these in S tier are really popular now. Um, Sean White, Akayan, Cake U, come on, they've got to be popular now. Win team right now should be popular. So I'm sure we've got to be on the same page about at least one of these pairings. <laughs> Tell me one that you're on the same page as me with and you agree with me and it would be the same for you. And tell me one that you don't agree with and would be different for you and tell me what it would be. That's what I want to know. Like, if there's one that you disagree with, where would you put it and why? Um, I want I want to see. I want to see the difference between what I've felt about these guys and what other people have. But that is it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!